So this is a video update to my daughter's science expo experiment. The effect of music and vibration on the growth of plants. So I haven't given you an update in a while because the plants really haven't done much. But here we are, we're looking at these plants. These two groups of plants sitting right here. One's a little bit bigger than the other one. These are the plants that were grown with vibration. And um, they were really um, chart toppers when it came to data. They had the highest growth of all the plants, but they're not really doing much once they've gotten replanted outside here. The next group of two plants here, these are the ones, I gotta get back so you can actually see them a little bit better. These are the ones that were um, subjected to classical music that played 24 hours a day. And they're producing the most fruit so far. And they're doing pretty good, as you can see back here. I don't know if I can get it with the camera, but there are some Maybe. little tomatoes forming right here. So they are, there's three of them right there on that one little vine. And then the next group that we have over here, these are the ones that sat in absolute silence. They didn't get any help at all. And as you can see, we've got a couple of nice good tomatoes here. We've got a little baby one sprouting right there. Oh, that's new. And we've got one growing right here. So uh, interestingly enough, the ones that sat in absolute silence are the ones that seem to be doing about the best as far as fruit goes, or tomatoes. Uh, next up, I imagine that these will probably start going any time. These are the ones that had classical music played to them continuously. And then, uh, like I said, the vibrations, the ones that, if you watch my whole video series, the ones that really were robust in their sprouting stages. Um, they're just not doing it right now for some strange reason. We've got them all planted on the west side of our house so they all get equal amounts of afternoon sun. Um, there's no uh, difference in the amount of sun that they receive throughout the day so uh, nothing would be playing a factor, or sunlight at least. And they're all set up on a little drip system. I can show you this one down here. They're all set up on a little drip system that gives them uh, two gallons per hour drip. And they get watered for um, about, I think about 30 to 45 minutes per day at different intervals. So um, here we go. Hopefully once we get some red tomatoes, I'll uh, post another video on this and you can keep track. Thanks for looking.